All right, welcome back once again on our Thursday afternoon. I swear I almost said Friday and realized we're not quite there yet. Getting very close though, as you know, looking outside right now, Dakota Magic Camera, you can see a little breezy out there. Let's go ahead. Got a viewer photo from this is a supercell taken just right around Devil's Lake uh, yesterday evening Again, tornado confirmed that it did touch down for a short time north of Devil's Lake Again, great photo right here. I want to thank Elon for sharing this photo. Take a look at our first alert weather headlines. Fantastic Friday web, by the, by the way, nothing like what we saw yesterday evening on the way in terms of any rough weather it is going to be very nice going to be warm tomorrow. A little bit of a cool down for this weekend. Temperatures drop just in time for the beginning of autumn. Last week of September, sunny conditions, seasonably warm highs. It's going to be very nice out there. 79 degrees right now in Fargo. Moorhead coming in at 79 as well. Grand Forks, we have 77 degrees with a wind gust of about 28 miles per hour. So again, comfortable temperatures. Now a little on the warm side for this time of year in some areas, but I'm going to be honest with you, if warmer than normal 79, 77, I'll take that. Fergus Falls, Oaks, and again, Grand Forks as well as Park Rapids all coming in at 77. Winds right now, they are gusting 20s to low 30s in many spots. Devil's Lake, Jamestown, Fargo, among other areas, Sisseton as well, that are seeing wind gust in the 30s, also in Langdon. Those winds are out of generally the southwest. Satellite radar, low pressure uh, spinning to our north, bringing a few showers wrapping around that low into northern areas here. So we're talking about Devil's Lake Basin. We'll see a few showers, just a few raindrops uh, in Devil's Lake Basin, northern Red River Valley and northwest Minnesota over the next two to three hours. Then things will quiet down. Again, most of the region looking very good out there. This is at about 815. You can see things quiet. Again, very nice conditions through the overnight hours, 1 o'clock right through tomorrow morning. Great start to our day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures again, low 50s, mid 50s, a couple upper 50s out there. So pleasant conditions to start our day tomorrow. And your Friday shaping up to be wonderful. A lot of sunshine now late on Friday into the overnight hours. We'll see a little bit of rain quickly move through out ahead of a cold front that's going to push through the region. Tomorrow morning's lows, though, again, under a clear sky in the 50s. Tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at highs. Upper 60s, Langdon 69, but otherwise low 70s, mid 70s, upper 70s. Just a great day on your Friday. Precipitation chances. Take a look at this over the next seven days. We mentioned Friday night, early Saturday. Chance for a quick shower, maybe even a storm overnight. Once we get past that, look at these numbers. 71 degrees breezy on Saturday. 68 first day of fall on Sunday. Cannot ask for a better start to our day. 69 Monday. 71 Tuesday. We'll start to warm up a little bit as we head toward next Thursday and Friday, but again, we're talking mid to upper 70s. I will take that kind of warmth, Bobby, and what I really love is those upper 60s, low 70s. Really, for me, this is getting my favorite time of the year over the next month or so in terms of weather, in terms of just the way it feels outside, and boy, it's going to start off great. It definitely is, but I would also say, Russ, you know, the 68, is, it is a good start to the fall, but I think it's more important that it's a great start to week three of the NFL. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, and more good NFL Sunday is coming for a long time. So. Good to know. We heard yeah. it right here first from Chief Meteorologist Russ Thomas.